Kansas City from, I think, Norfolk uh, and had to go all the way back because FDA wanted to take a look. And that's real expensive. Uh, and then back to documents, be specific. Do not be vague on your documents. If you have an air filter that's specifically for tractors, say air filter for tractor. Don't just say filter because customs is not gonna accept that. Okay, um, if you guys are okay, we still have several questions. You mind if we go about five minutes over? I'm good with that. I'm okay, um, so on the CT pack questions, we have a lot that came in um, in regards to that. Um, I think that we'll take that outside of this webinar. So please contact that consulting email right there. Um, ask your questions uh, in regards to CT pat and exams um, and all the details for CT pat, and we will get to you directly. Um, the next question is Does becoming an FTZ affect the possibility of exams? A foreign uh, no. trade zone. Not necessarily. FTZ, as Kim said, is a foreign trade zone. Um, it kind of allows you to operate uh, kind of as an external warehouse, not technically part of the commerce of the U.S. Um, but honestly, they're going to look at things just as closely that go into an FTZ as they are um, things that just come into the port because uh, technically it is a foreign entity foreign trade zone so it's seen just as importing from another country so you're you're just as likely to get customs exams from there as you are from importing from east coast west coast wherever <music>